You ready? I'm ready. Let's get out of here. We have 488,332 miles on this beautiful Ford 7.3 liter diesel truck. We're gonna go add a couple hundred more. Where are we headed? We're heading today. Where are we going? Going to Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. We're gonna yeah. take the back roads. Our goal this trip, we say it all the time, no interstate miles. So we'll try. We'll try <laughs> to do no interstate miles. All right, let's go. <laughs> proper final check where we test the lights and turns out I didn't plug the camper into the truck so we were driving 23 miles without giving anybody brake lights or turn signals to so probably upset quite a few people not to mention it wasn't safe and illegal so final check make sure to check all your lights especially when you've been sitting around for five or six months we put the tie downs on oh crap did we put the tie just kidding we got the tie downs on just around it because we're scouting out where we're gonna camp tonight. We're using I Overlander to find this nice free place near the convention center and it's just a road off of a road off of another road. <laughs> but um, we're gonna go into town and we're gonna meet up. Really cool story. Um, we're gonna meet up with someone and have dinner and see Savannah at night. So we're gonna show up here in the dark and we didn't want to show up and not know like if we're going to be in the dirt or what. Um, we did that in Todos Santos in Baja, and that was fun, wasn't it, Lindsay? It was awesome. Yeah. Getting stuck in the sand. Yeah, we pulled up and it's just La Pastora. Or maybe not that late. Not quite but... that late, but yeah, <laughs> and it was New Year's Eve, and we pull up and you can see cars like the light, the reflection of them. So like, oh, we can just park anywhere out here. Not really. It was soft sand, patches of soft sand everywhere. We got stuck anyway. You can go back and watch that video if you feel like it. It was pretty cool. But we don't want that experience of having to get rescued in the middle of the night. So we have scoped it out. I think it looks pretty legit. We're right next to a golf course. So maybe somebody knocks on the door in the middle of the night. But I think we'll probably be okay. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. We've stayed in worse. With iOverlander, you always want to check for recent reviews. And this one doesn't have anything super recent. But there was one in the spring. Yeah. Like I mean, two or three from this year. Yeah. So... Um, that tells you more or less what the conditions are and they the eye overlander will shut down places that are shut down it'll say mm -hmm. now closed but uh, it gives you an idea and if you show up and obviously it's sketchy if this was a sketchy place we'd be like nope we're out of here we don't park in neighborhoods we don't stealth camp is what it's called I don't want to park in somebody's you know front yard and um, unless they, they invited us. unless they invite us yeah our friends but <laughs> But just showing up like a lot of hashtag van lifers do and they call it stealth camping and we're not big on that because it's people's you know personal space so this doesn't look too personal out here i think we'll be fine so let's uh let's work our way back into town yeah. go park go explore a little bit and then we'll meet up with maribel and tell you her story we are in downtown savannah at forsyth park which is not the Forest Gump Park. We're gonna walk down by there, but they've apparently took the bench down a little while ago. So I'm gonna find a bench and I'm gonna sit on and uh, pretend like I'm Forrest Gump. We're not, because that's cliche and cheesy. Right now the dogs are in heaven. Yeah. Feels good to be on the road again. New Very place. Good. Very good. Awesome. 
Savannah is full of these little squares and parks right in the middle of downtown. You just walk from one block to the next, to the next, and they've got all these monuments. Beautiful big houses. I encourage Lindsay to get her camera out, so that means a two block walk is gonna take us 25 minutes. Going to the Basilica of John the Baptist, St. John the Baptist it is free. There was mass going on, so we didn't go in there right now, but you can get there for free and you can walk around the Colonial Cemetery. This goes all the way back to the 1700s and there's a lot of old people here. <laughs> People, people. people are just dying to get in. <laughs> it's a pretty popular place. So if you were going to eat ice cream, where would you eat? Leopold's. It's classic. I mean, just look at it. It looks awesome. And we'll never know. Yeah, if That's I can't eat ice cream. The invisible ice cream cone? We have made it to Chippewa Park, which is the Forest Gump Park. There's no Forest Gump bench, but there are benches in Forest Gump Park. Having two dogs has been a challenge walking around. We've moved down toward Water Street and we're going down the historic steps. Really? We're going to use at our own risk. So Lindsay and I have some history at this next place. What do you say? Want to recreate? Let's recreate that beautiful it. moment. Yeah. Except it's not raining and it's closed. can't have ice cream. I what, got sweets. What'd you settle on? I know. Chocolate stuff. Chocolate stuff. Which well, I'm sure still has dairy in it, but it's delicious. I'll be okay. River Not as Street much as uh, ice cream. Candy which store. Is like pure dairy. What are you eating? Pecans. Pecan or pecan? Pecans. <laughs> so here's the thing. We were, we were when talking I'm, about it. <laughs> when I'm talking about the, uh, like the nuts, I call them pecans. But when I'm talking about the pie, it's pecan pie. It just it doesn't sound right as pecan pie. It's pecan pie. What do you think, audience? 
What do you think, Maribel? Pecan or pecan? It's whatever comes up at the moment. <laughs> a pecan's not where you go peeing in the middle of the night. I mean, a can no. be. Oh, you mean like a can of peas? A can of peas. <laughs> or a can of peas. What a mess. It's a fun day, though. Look at all that mess over there. Oh, yeah, our camper's a mess. A over there. mess. First day on the road. First day on the road's always a mess. Always a mess. Well, for us, other people probably put their stuff away. But no, we... I don't think we're alone. Okay. Well, if you ever had a first day on the road, you know what it's like. We got stuff everywhere. But wrapping up, we just want to wrap up real quick. Talk about Maribel, how we know Maribel, why she's so awesome. <laughs> Lindsay's not talking. So before we got on the road, we were foster parents. We worked for an organization where we were um, basically responsible for eight kids at a time in every facet of their life from making lunch breakfast lunch dinner taking them to doctor's appointments living in the same house keeping them from killing each other <laughs> keeping us from killing them while well, we never tried to kill them but all the stuff that goes in, in, into raising kids we had eight of them at a time and there's a boy's house and there's a girl's house and we were in the boy's house at the time when we met maribel and so maribel was one of the foster children that worked with our organization and she's just been like Shining She's a great star. kid. Yeah. Very great kid. Good head on her shoulders. Great head on her shoulders. Yeah. Kids in foster care, there are horrible statistics. I don't need to go into them. Maybe you've come through foster care or been adopted. We know so many people who have or who are fostering. But there's just not a really good uh, uh, survival Happy rate. Happy ending, yeah. Yeah. That, a, and sad. we really sad. we got to keep in touch with Maribel. She's going to Savannah College of Art and Design and she's doing really great she's working full-time she's going to school full-time she's got a great head on her shoulder and we we're talking about some of the girls that lived in the house with her when we were having dinner and it was just depressing yeah how they ended up uh, i mean just what the statistics mm -hmm. say drugs and pregnancies and runaways and homeless and so it was really sad to hear that but it's really awesome to see that maribel is doing so well so maribel if you're watching this we're 100 percent totally proud of you for what you're doing with your life and we're excited for you and for those of you who don't know Maribel maybe you know somebody like her we just want to encourage you to play a positive role in their lives encourage them so so that's kind of the backstory of Maribel backstory on where we are we pulled back into the camping area that's a street off of the yeah. street off of the street part of an old racetrack yeah sort of kind of next to a golf course it is quiet until the shipping um, ship, whatever you call it, freight ship, goes out and blasts its horn. But it's quiet, and um, hopefully we'll sleep well tonight. Ooh. We're going to get up early. Okay. Catch the ferry, and hopefully. Hopefully catch the ferry into town. Yeah. So we don't usually do this, but we got in kind of late after the sun had set. We're going to wake up before the sun rises, and we're going to go relocate for tomorrow. So we can hopefully catch the ferry back into town, go run around for a couple hours, and then on to the next place. Yeah. Is that you or the dog? The dog. dog. I'm a lady. I don't fart when the camera's rolling. Huck does. Got the dogs in Huck bed. Huck them all the time. Mess of a bed. Don't fill my underwear. Hey, buddy. Heavy's is quiet. back there. Mess of a bedroom. All right, so if you followed us this far, thank you. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate your comments, your positive comments, your liking, your subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, we will see you manana. Do we still say that? We're not in Baja. No, anymore. we're not in Baja. No manana. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, the sun's up. We woke up a little later than we, originally planned. We always do that. <laughs> Don't ever make sunrise plans with us. Uh, it didn't really work out. Huh? I was up, but I let you sleep. Is that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> she you was were snoring. I was snoring. Mm -hmm. That's because I slept in fits of about five minutes at a time. The buddy here was sleeping on my head. We had coyotes. We had. Is it coyotes or coyotes? Coyote. Oh, I don't know if it's yeah, plural. There, there's another, that's like pecan, pecan. What do you say, coyotes or coyotes? 
I used to say coyotes, and then I lived out west for a little bit, and I think it's coyotes. Hmm. If you just look how it spells, there's no E E S at the end. It's just E S coyotes. Hmm. So anyway, there that were, makes sense. There were some coyotes out there howling away, and I didn't hear them. Yeah, you got to sleep well. Our fan has a little rattle going on. So I'm our, hoping it's just a leaf. Yeah, I gotta climb up there and try to clean it out and maybe spray some WD-40 in the gears. So anyway, we're gonna still stick to the plan, which is to head down to uh, the river, try to find a way to park and take the ferry across instead of driving over that massive yeah, and bridge. The ferry here is free. I don't know if we mentioned that. We did not mention that. It is free. It is a cool thing to do. We're hoping to do it. It's um, supposed to be dog friendly as well. Well, you just read it was dog My friendly. dogs are well more well behaved than most children. Yeah. Which they should. <laughs> you said they're potty trained too. Which I'm, they should. I'm pretty sure he left. They should let us in. He left turds on the floor before we left my parents' house. <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to get on the road. Welcome to the new day. We're still in Savannah. We like Savannah. I like Savannah. I like Savannah a lot. It's really, really cool. The weather's perfect to explore. It's beautiful. Lots to see and do, so let's go do it. Getting on the ferry? Yeah. Let's go up to the front. Good boy. Nope, nope, Eddie. This way. Best seats in the house. Nice. Yeah. This is it. Savannah, what do you I, think? I love Savannah. I love Savannah too. Yeah. It was awesome. Super dog friendly, nice people, nice locals. Well, lots of free stuff yeah. to do to get yeah. around, just walk around, check out parks, ride the ferry. Um, we didn't even do half the stuff that was free to do. Yeah. Tons of great places to eat. Didn't eat at all the great places, but there's tons of great places. The weather, of course, is beautiful. I think we were looking for place to rent i know it was, yeah it was really it was really that kind of a place it. yeah so we are done with savannah savannah in one day we'll be putting out a post for you on a one day itinerary if you're interested if you're not interested thanks for watching <laughs> the pups are all worn out they are asleep which so. means it's travel time mm -hmm. we are on to our next stop which is going to be charleston south carolina or, as they say, Charleston, South Kakalaki. <laughs> we will be there in a couple hours, taking Highway 17 again, back roads, not even touching the interstate. And on that note, let's get started. Let's go.